So I will show you how to uh, create a program in your calculator to find the cross product between two 3D vectors. So on the right, you can see two vectors, A and B, with three components each. I call the component A for the component on X, B for the component on Y, and C for the component on J, on Z for uh, the vector A, and the vector B is G I hat plus E J hat plus F K hat. Okay. So when when we want to find the cross product of those two vectors, so A cross B, A cross B, it will be the first complement on I hat will be a complement on the complement on J and K, and this one. So like for example, for the I hat, we will have we we um, remove the I hat complement and we just use B time F minus C time E. For the J, it's A time B minus C time D. And uh, with a minus in front, and for the k, that's a times e minus b times d. So that's my three complement for my um, three uh, for my cross product uh, vector for the result of the cross product. So now, how, how do I program that on the calculator? So you open your calculator and you click on program, and we will create a new program. So you click on new, create a new program, enter name. Let's call that cross, and you see it's already alpha. Uh, so it's already later, so cross, oops, cross, cross products, cross P, you call it like you want, and enter. So the first thing will be to prompt the six parameters, the parameter A, B, C, and D, E, and F. So you click on program and input output, I, O. So you go on I, O and prompt that the second one, enter. And we want to prompt six parameters. And you see, it's not alpha anymore. So make sure that you select alpha, a, comma, alpha, b, comma, alpha, c, comma, alpha, d, comma, alpha, e, and comma, alpha, f. So that's my three complement for the vector a and my three complement for the vector uh, b. Enter. Now I need to make the three product, combination of product. So BF, so alpha B time F minus the C time E, and I will store this data, so STO, store, in uh, the parameter X, the answer X. Enter. The second one, you see, is minus AF minus CD, so I will inverse CD and AF, so it will be C uh, CD minus AF. And I will store this data in W, uh, W, Y. I don't know where it's W, in Y. Enter. And the uh, last one is AE minus BD. So A, E minus B, D. And I will store this data in Z there. Enter. And now I want to dispose this X, Y, and Z answers. So you click back on program and the input output. And this is the third dispose. Here we go. And you want to dispose X, Y, and Z. And you're done. That's your program. So when you have two 3D vectors, if you use this program, you will have the cross product, the three component of the answer of the cross product. So let's try that. So second quit, and I will call my program. So program and execute the program number one, cross product, enter, and yes me. What is your first uh, component of your first vector? Let's say it's one, it's B is two, C is three, and four, and five, and six, and enter. And that's my answer. So the cross product of i at plus 2j at plus 3k at cross 4i at plus 5j uh, at plus 6k at will be 3i at plus 6j at minus 3k at. And here we go. You have your cross product in your, um, that you found thanks to your calculator. And now you can find the cross product for any two 3D vectors with this little program. Enjoy. Have a great day. Bye-bye.